Hey guys, how's it going? Legendary Badass here. I'm making some changes, and to help me do that, I decided it would be a good time for me to get a smartphone. Uh, that way I can stay in touch with you guys on the go and update things, and more on this a little bit later. But, this also gives me a good opportunity to review the purchase that I made. The Palm Pre on the Sprint Network. Let's take a look at it. And wait. Before you get, to, don't, no, shut up. I'm going to take a better look at this than anybody else. I've seen all the other reviews, or the ones that supposedly matter. They don't take a look at it like a real man, okay? So, indulge me, and you might just learn something. And I hope this informs you if you plan on making a purchase on a phone in the future. So, let's start. Okay, now this isn't a true unboxing because I've had this for a couple days now. I've played with it. I've got to know it. It's my friend. And I am going to show you a little bit of what's in the box here. We've got instructions in English and what Americans call Mexican. And I didn't really look at those because, well, I'm a man and we're not supposed to look at instructions, right? Now, I haven't used the headphones because I've already got a pretty good pair myself. But it's nice that they, they give these to you. And it does work pretty well as a music device. I've used it in a vehicle as I would an iPod. And everything worked fine. I kind of like the wheel on the older iPods. I like the... Uh, tactile click that you get so you can uh, you know put it in your pocket and walk down the street not have to worry about looking at the songs you just click click left right you can work the volume that's why I still carry around an iPod Nano now some interesting stuff here is the accessories it comes with you got this nifty little cylinder thing here which is like the business end of the charging it's like the AC adapter I suppose. You've got your cable which is a proprietary end so you can't really use a whole lot of things you have around the house to charge it uh, which is unfortunate. My favorite accessory however is the pouch. Now it's pretty simple but it's free. Now sure you can't look at the incoming calls but that's okay. It's got a soft inside, so it's not going to scratch your phone up. And these are very glossy phones, unless you get the Touchstone, which uh, I was hoping to pick up. They didn't have any. You know, maybe I'll do a, a follow-up review with that later. But back to this. The pouch is great because it, the outside has a lot of friction, even though it's soft. So you aren't walking around with a phone that's about to fall out of your pocket. And, uh, yeah, that's happened to me many times, especially getting out of a car if you're a guy. I'm sure it's probably happened to you. So, the pouch, great stuff. It even has a screen protector on it, which it's been doing an admirable job. But uh, I'm ordering the Zag Invisible Shield. That should be coming in the mail probably next week. Uh, maybe I'll follow up and tell you what I think about that, but... For what it's worth, I'm glad that they gave you some kind of protection. They've got a plastic screen on this thing, and those things can really scratch up. So, hey, I'm just thankful they gave us something to secure it. The Pre's fairly slim. It's got a good build quality to it. Plastic, but it's shiny. And I think shiny plastics look more expensive than the plastics you'd find on the interior of a General Motors car. Screen's pretty nice. Um, I gotta say that it is a little smaller than the iPhone, but it's packing the same resolution, so you get a finer pixel detail, and it's very bright. The default brightness, I thought was like I thought it was just set on max, and then it, it can really go up from there. So that's great. The keyboard, you might want to get used to typing with your pinkies. It's pretty small. And I've used my thumbs and fingers with it, and I've rarely missed. And I'm just now getting into texting. 
I've sent a couple of text messages. I know I'm ashamed. It's on my list of requirements that you don't do that. But now that I have a phone that gives me unlimited messaging and data and, and all this stuff, I want to kind of use it and test it out for you guys. So, hey, I, I'm not encouraging you to text message. I'm just telling you it's possible, okay? I like the keyboard. The buttons have a good click to them. Sometimes they they make that little crunch sound, like you might be pushing a little too hard and messing up something internally. But I wouldn't really worry too much about that. The slide-out mirror, it appears to me that it is scraping against something inside, and it's got some lubricant on it, so eventually you're probably going to get that marred up. I wouldn't really call that a total loss. The camera, it's good in the daylight, not so good on interiors and low-light situations. It does have a flash that is pretty darn bright, so I'll give them a hand for putting that there. I would like to see some video functionality. It can't record video, but I was promised at the Sprint store that there is a firmware update that will let you record video and hopefully send it straight to YouTube. That way I can do some stuff on the go and hopefully build my fan base because everybody knows I need like at least a million followers.